Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we are gonna cover how I have my kayak set up for tournament and everyday fishing. If you already don't know, I have a 2021 Hobie Pro Angler 14. Uh, this is my second one. I had a 2017 in the past, but I decided to go with the same same color, same make, same model, just a newer year. Uh, a couple upgrades I think they did to the newer ones after 17 is that you have the track system built into the replaceable plastic pieces in the front. Uh, this is one of my mag mounts I have on the kayak for my GoPro. Uh, that's what I'm using for now until I get the actual pole set up for the kayak. Uh, but we'll kind of start here at the back. Uh, to start in the back slash side, we have the Anchor Wizard set up, and I built a uh, almost like a homemade, well, it is homemade uh, PVC mount to hold this uh, a little bit more stable because before it was just mounted to the plate on the H rail, and it would wiggle a lot, you know, when you're cranking it. So I took some PVC plastic and I built kind of like a box. And I took this cable tie type of thing that you can buy, I think, from Night Eyes. Uh, it's like a twisty tie. And it's actually tied off uh, to the rod mount, uh, sorry, the uh, paddle holder that comes with Hobie. And I got it through the eye there, and I just drilled a hole in this. And I use all stainless steel hardware, and it just gives it more stability. So to power my electronics, uh, which is just as of right now, uh, I like to keep things very simple. So right now all I have on here is the Garmin Striker, uh, I think CV. It's called, it's the seven inch. Uh, it's got chirp, down, it's clear view, and side scan. So that's what I run for my electronics, uh, for my fish finder. I didn't get a GPS model because I'm on a kayak. If I get lost on a kayak, that's a problem. Uh, but to power it, I use a Nakwa 10 amp hour battery. Uh, the one I got this time, I didn't get the actual Nakwa. Well, it is a Nakwa brand, but it just has the Yak Attack symbol on it too. And I got the Burley Pro mount uh, to hold it. And I used to make homemade versions of this, but they came out with one. And literally to zip tie through the uh, Velcro cover that hold, you know houses the battery. Uh, holds that and what my plan is, you know, this is made for two so eventually I can add another one to this and Maybe possibly power up some lights, you know navigation lights on this, but probably not uh, I like to keep things as simple as possible. You know, I don't need all these lights and stuff on there. It's just not my thing uh, But you know, I just run the wire through and just powers directly to the Garmin and that's it And it sits nicely in the hatch here and just closes up uh, For my support, you know, for my uh Storage in the back, believe it or not, I use the Milwaukee Packout system. Uh, as you can see, it's just the their crate that they sell. Uh, I'm a big fan of Milwaukee. But, you know, what this works out to be is good. Instead of using like any of the other, uh, you know, the black packs and all that stuff and the Hobie H crate, is that this locks on top. So you can see that's where I keep my anchor stored when I'm not, when I'm not using it. Uh, I keep my probably, keep some tackle back here and I keep... Uh, you know, maybe my cooler in here, but a lot of times I set my cooler back here. But what's nice about this is that this locks in and locks on. It almost creates a lid for this for this crate. And I just have it bungee through. I drill an extra hole in it to uh, support a bungee to the system. And either this is all my terminal tackle that I use. And these boxes are waterproof too. I think they're I67 rated, IP67. But this is where I just keep some of my terminal tackle. Uh, it's pretty much all I run for terminal tackle. Um, I don't carry a lot with me at all at one time. I kind of know what I'm fishing for, but I can just pull the trays out and change up to different trays. So either I keep it on top of this, or probably if I'm using a lot of soft plastics for the day, I'll just slide it up underneath my seat. So it's right there underneath my seat. And that's where it's either there or underneath my seat is where I keep it. Uh, I just have the cup holder on here. I have the Hobie uh, side mount tackle box. You know, I keep my uh, lip grip, I have a little air horn in there, and, and my uh, scissors. And then I also have my Gerber pliers that I keep here on the side. 
Yeah, I think Burley Pro makes like a you know, side mounts that go on the chairs. I may get those to uh, carry. I think they can hold like a Plano 3600 box, like like those sizes. Uh, and then like, you know, additional items can be stored in those as well. I may get those eventually, or maybe even just the tackle web. I haven't decided, but I'm trying to keep this very, I always try to keep my kayaks as light as possible and simple as possible because, you know, I feel that you don't need 16 colors of the same lure. I pretty much just go with green pumpkin, black and blues, and some whites when it's muddy, maybe a little chartreuse on the, uh, Saw plastics, but I may get a you know a tackle web to put on the back of the seat just to hold like maybe some you know beer or maybe some additional saw plastics. But I pretty much keep my saw plastics in. We'll jump up real quick up here. I keep my saw plastics in a plano roll, and you know that's exactly where every, I keep all my stuff in there. As you can see, I got a lot of Z man, and I use uh, a lot of tuck baits too for their uh, Cinco's. And since we're up front here, the mental cover in the front hatch I have, uh, and if I sound like a little coarse or whatever, I'm sick right now, but you know, I keep the toilet paper in here. Uh, I keep a rope with a click, you know, with a uh, carabiner on their end. That's how I launch the kayak off the trailer or off land. This way I have something tied off so I just don't throw it in the water and lose it. Uh, keep my Sawyer products with me. You know, this is my sunscreen that I wear every time. Keep some off, which I'll probably get the Sawyer brand soon. Uh, I'm just trying to use this up, but uh, I keep my, uh, you know, little first aid kit with me. You know, toilet paper, and you know, pretty much my saw plastic stay up front. And you know, the Hobie, the Hobie paddle comes with uh, two pieces that separates. So I usually just keep one piece with the T handle with me. Uh, on the one side is for emergency use or launching, but I keep the other piece underneath the kayak. So an emergency and I need an actual paddle back if I lose, you know, if my uh, fins or whatever break, I have the other half of the paddle inside here. Uh, you know, to this day, I haven't had anything break on these, uh, on the fins from Hobie, but you know, I'm sure it's bound to happen. Uh, that's another reason why I didn't get the uh, Hobie 360, just because it's, you know, it's newer, it has some kinks in it. Uh, I know they're working through it and they have a great, uh, you know, warranty, but at the same time, because of how things are right now, it's taken people a long time to get pieces to fix those fins. And it's just a lot more, you know, you got extra handles and, you know, just more moving parts. This is just, you know, simple, straight and back, you know, forward and back with the, with the fins and you got your, you know, your rudder control. You know, I just wanted to go simple again. So maybe in the future, next kayak around, uh, you know, maybe I'll get that, but for right now, I'm just running just the, you know, standard 180 turbo fins. Um, we'll hit the other side real quick. Uh, so normally I keep my paddle, which is not on the kayak right now. But this is where I keep my, you know, one, the one side of the paddle from Hobie. Is I keep it, you know, right there with me. That's when I'm launching the kayak, pushing off, or if I have to get, you know, paddle through some shallow stuff, that's what I use. Um, I have my catch board, you know, tethered off, tied off to my kayak here. Uh, and I got my kayak cushion, which I, you know, got from dugout where I purchased this kayak this time around in Georgia. Uh, I had to go all the way to Georgia for it just because, of, you know, things are hard to get right now, but they're get, things are getting better. Um, also, this is just where I keep my standard tackle that I'm gonna, I know I'm going to start throwing. Right now, you can see there's a bunch of crankbaits in there. Uh, these two boxes I keep here, just uh, it's my quick stuff that I know I'm going to start fishing with for the day. So you know, I have quick access to that. Uh, my remaining Plano, uh, I think I, I think they're all Plano boxes, and I got some uh, Flambo outdoors too. Uh, I keep everything jammed up in here, or I throw my remaining tackle in my Milwaukee packup. Um, but that's pretty much about it. I mean, there ain't much to it. I uh, keep it very simple. Obviously, one thing I'm gonna get because I'm starting tournament fishing again, which I haven't put on, is I'm gonna get another H rail here to mount my flag uh, with a light on it. Um, like I said, I got my mag mount there for the GoPro. And I keep my rods in the rod tubes that come with Hobie because uh, I have had a problem with keeping, you know, putting rod holders on crates before and they tend to get in my way, I guess the way I cast, and the poking them a lot. Uh, I do use the Hobie built-in ones though, but I keep it on this side because I have hooked a pole just recently and ended up going in the water and I didn't realize it until I was looking for it and it was gone. So I, I hooked it, it landed, went in the water and I lost it. So I just try to keep everything inside the rod tubes. Uh, even you know when I'm, when I'm driving down the road, 
and when I'm fishing. Uh, I mean, I know what I need. I can get them out pretty easy. My kayak's not cluttered, so it's easy to get them out. I know a lot of people say that they have a hard time uh, getting them out. I know people sometimes jam in like two or three rods into the, you know, one holder. Uh, I literally go with, I think, five rods max, and that's, you know, everyday fishing or tournament fishing. So uh, that's about it. I mean, you know, you got the, uh, the knuckle battery pound, the, you know, power in the Garmin. I got the kayak seat. I got my, you know, uh, pack out crate in the back. I got my anchor wizard. And uh, that's it. I mean, I keep it. It's almost, it's pretty much stock from Hobie. I mean, the only thing I did is just a couple little things with the anchor wizard, and that's about it. Uh, I'm probably going to keep it this way and just keep it very simple. And that that's really my kayak. This is it, guys. Uh, that's what I'll be fishing with this year for my tournament season. And, uh, you know, I'll keep this for a while. I may keep it for a long time. I may get rid of it sooner. Who knows? But I'm going to be adding some more uh, vinyl to this for my sponsors and stuff for this year. Uh, but that's all I have on here right now. Just my, you know, my logos and stuff. And that's it. And it sits on a, uh, a load right trailer, which I purchased for. Uh, I do, in the future though, have plans getting the uh, On the Water Innovations trailer. I did talk to them before I purchased this kayak. And uh, I forgot the owner's name, but he was like three months out three to four months out before I could get a trailer and I just didn't want to wait that long, but we'll definitely get one from him, especially when I get another kayak for my son, Jared, or my wife. Uh, but I definitely want to get a kayak trailer from On The Water Innovations. They make great trailers. I mean, you know, the Fluke Master has one. Uh, uh, Chad has one from, you know, KBF, Chad Hoover. So, I mean, everybody's liking them. I mean, their trailers are very cool. I just, you know, they're not priced that high either. Uh, I mean, steel's up right now, but they're not that bad. For what you get from them he can add lights to it rod tubes all that stuff so uh, i'll put a link in the description uh, below of all the items i have on this that i use uh, and also you know for the on the water innovations his website and go check him out on instagram and all that stuff too uh, hopefully one day i can do a review on his trailer uh sitting in my garage but that's about it i mean there's not really much more to cover uh, I'm sure I'll be adding a few other things to it in the future, but for right now, this is it, guys. Uh, I hope you like the video. It's just a quick, simple video of what I, you know, what I use on my kayak and how it's set up. Uh, the same thing that's missing off it right now is just some of my tackle and my poles, but this is it. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, if you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave some comments below. Uh, you know, if anybody wants an idea of how I did this or any farther explanation for the anchor wizard setup uh, you can just shoot me a comment and i'll get back with you all right guys until next time catch you on the water thanks